Damn, we haven't been in the West Coast for a minute. So tonight, we in the West Coast. Cali to be exact. Oakland to be exact. What y'all know about the Godfather, the cat, the big fee? What y'all know about the veil? Oakland stand up. Felix the Cat Mitchell became one of Oakland's first large-scale drug lords and ended up controlling most of the AIDS coming in California. Now, Fee is from East Oakland, 69 projects. In the 1970s, he started selling dog food. Now, we had a lot of people doing the same exact thing, but he took it to another level. We have some guys that would get up early than others, give customers a little bit more than what they paid for. It's all about the extra mile to keep them coming back. As work was moving fast, he put together a crew called 6ix9ine Mob. He used the housing project as the mob headquarters. Now, to keep everything cool with the other residents, he would buy them microwaves, TVs, and he would give them free food. He gave young, poor kids opportunities to make cash by becoming lookouts for the police. He paid his lookouts top dollar. They was on every car that came through. If you didn't live there or wasn't there to cop, you couldn't be there at all. If any of his men was not for drugs, the bail money was on deck. Now, he began to gain more turf and took over 65th International Lockwood Gardens housing project. Now, he had to go to war for this one because it was right next to the Oakland Coliseum. So, it was a different type of money and traffic. I mean, who would want to give that up without a fight, right? Now, the war was between the mob and the family that was ran by Mickey Moore to control the ace trade. When it came to the turf wars, they was getting shit popping, man. But for the drive-bys, they was jumping out letting people have it. And the other side would jump out and let them have it, giving gas. It was a war that resulted in seven deaths in three days. But Harvey Wisington, the leader of Funk Town, wanted a piece of the action also. It was a battle royal to be king of Oakland. And Oakland was just too small for the three of them. And with the war going on, he made sure no kids was out after dark. So when it came to the lookouts, he picked the much older people to stand out there. Now, he also had a run-in with the Black Panthers back in the day. The Panthers charged the organization a fee for dealing poison into the community. Now, some looked at it as extortion. Some say Big Fee paid. Some say he didn't. Some say he paid them in drugs, because, you know, Huey Newton had a drug addiction. Now, Felix, he invented the trap drive through Ride through, place your order, and get served. A lot of people throughout the years didn't even know they was using this blueprint. But yeah, that was his way of making things convenient. People didn't have to leave their car and go stand in the long line that went around the corner. The lines were just ridiculously long. Now, he became the man that every kid wanted to be like. They saw the jewelry, the fine woman in cars. He really stood out. This was the time when someone saw a limo, they wondered who was in it. They thought it was either a celebrity or someone of importance. Nowadays, if you see a limo, you don't even look twice. <laughs> And that's if you ever see one. But, you know, people saw him getting out of limos and he was pushing vehicles people never saw before. In the 1980s, he purchased a $60,000 Ferrari with $5 and $10 bills. It don't get more trapped than that. <laughs> he purchased million dollar homes in Northern and Southern California. He made his money and kept his homes out the way. Now, with the turf wars going on, law enforcement began an investigation that lasted for years. It was super hot on the streets. And when he finally caught him, and his other rivals, they thought the drugs and wars would slow down, but it got worse. Mitchell was convicted on numerous drug and tax invasion charges and sentenced to life imprisonment. He was still running things from behind bars. He was doing his time like a man and stood on all ten. Now, it's been alleged that he let someone borrow something in jail. And when it was time for the guy to pay up, he didn't have anything for Mitchell. Now, Mitchell's men grabbed and hung him from the prison top tier. But Mitchell called it off and told them that it wasn't even that serious. Now, the guy decided to get back at Mitchell while he was asleep in his cell with a blade. And just like that, Mitchell was gone. Now, with the death of Mitchell, his case was automatically overturned. And his possessions that were seized were returned to his family. Now, y'all could look up all the clips from his funeral. It had more than 1,800 people attending. You would think a celebrity died, but then again, he was a hood celebrity. Now, with his funeral being broadcast on television... He had horses up and down the street, 18 Rolls Royces, hundreds of people walking the streets. Agents even bought out one of the Ferraris that they seized from him to watch what was going on and see who was taking his place as the big dog. It was very unprofessional. Felix the Cat Mitchell. Some loved him, some hate him. 
Some people have good stories. Some people have bad stories. Now, he was gone, but his legacy continued. The reins of his gang has been turned over to a young protege that would take it to the next level. Now, be on the lookout for part two. Turn your notifications on. Subscribe if you're not a member. Hit the like button. And last but not least, blow up the comments. I'm out.